Hi, it's Chris from Chris Loves Crochet and Crochet Recreations. And I thought I'd put out my 10 favorite things. So hang in there, I'll show you. Okay, so these are things that if you haven't thought about that you could get for yourself as a, as a crocheter. If you have a uh, crocheter in your life and you went out searching for what do I buy for a crocheter as a gift, then um, this is a video for you. Or a knitter. A lot of this stuff can be um, dual purpose. I just can't knit, so it's crochet for me. <coughs> so, um, the 10 things, I'm going to put a link in the, in the uh, description for most of the things. Um, that you can uh, click on to go to Amazon to find it. Most everything is under $30 or less. That doesn't make any sense, but you know what I mean. It's a, they're, they're like, there's a couple of things that are close, that are pushing 30, but most things are like less than 20 or less than 10 or something. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is something that I just love. I've been making some baby things for my grandbaby. I don't know if you've heard, I have my first grandbaby, but I'm making some things and it calls, there's a lot of things that calls for buttons and um, I don't like putting on buttons on things. I just don't like it. So I have a couple of different options instead of buttons for putting on things. This first one, oh my gosh, this was like, I'm gonna say like about 20 bucks. And <clears throat> what it is, I don't have the original packaging, but hey look, has the sticker on it still, but it doesn't have the right name on it. But these are these are buttons, and all of the different colors of the rainbow are included. And I'll have a link, like I said, but they come like this, and I think there's 20 of each color, but like that's a a blue. And they come with a bag of baggies, sorry, a bag of baggies, so that once you open and use some, you don't have this torn bag with rubber bands or something to keep it together. You put all of the rest of them in here. I'm thinking about going through and putting, open them all, because then you can see it a lot better. But there's different colors. There's like three different shades of yellow and three different shades of purple and pink and there's black and there's light blue, dark blue, really light blue, there's beige, everything. And it comes with the little um, thingy. I think that's what it's called. I think if you look it up in the dictionary, it's called a thingy. But it um, it presses down and it, and it connects your snaps. So there's no sewing involved at all. You don't sew on the snaps, um, you press them on. And, um, and they're colored, they're colored to go with your, um, that little outfit or little whatever you're doing. So I actually used a couple to put on some labels because I hate sewing that much that to sew on my labels. So I used a couple in the back of a sweater I just gave to a friend of mine. I used a couple of the snaps on each side of the label to put it in the back of the sweater. Anyway, so that's number one are the snaps. This is the snap, snap machine, snap machine. And it comes with um, some, some extra parts, some replacement parts. And it comes with um, itty bitty little screwdriver and, a, and, and an awl of some sort. Um, I, I have used them, I don't know if I was supposed to, but I have used them to take things apart. Um, if I did it wrong or something like that, something went awry. I don't know if that's what it's for. And like I said, it has these little bags to put things in. And it came in this bag, but I don't have the packaging that says the name of it. I'm sorry. But I'm going to put it in the description box. There's going to be a link to it. And um, very affordable. It's something that you could buy for somebody that maybe they didn't even know they wanted or something they could play around with or something like that. So I use those instead of buttons. I also, instead of buttons, these cute little, they're called collar pins. And you can see there are some that, um, that ha there's some that have like little, like two little things in a chain that you clip on each side and you have like a chain. Um, there's some of those, but these are two of my favorites. There's my little butterfly and my um, little angel. 
and um, these I use for shawls. So I'll put it on, put on a shawl. I don't have one. Look, here's one. <laughs> put on a shawl. This doesn't go. But put on a shawl. And then use this to connect them instead of having it always falling down or um, having to put a button on or something like that. But okay, so in a mirror you can do that very nicely. And you could put your shawl together with these. Um, I found this on an Etsy shop. I'll see if I can find where I got them from and, and include that. Um, in the in the link but they're they're collar clips so you can get some that are a solid piece which is my favorite because it kind of looks like a brooch or something which is also a possibility I've also used barrettes to put things together but anyway so you can buy these for your for your someone special even if that someone special is yourself um, to uh, to put together the shawls because we all make a lot of shawls because you know because they're fun and they're pretty and we have cold shoulders so those are, that's one and two, the snaps and the collar buttons, shawl button, what, what, what did I say? Collar clips, collar clips. Um, another thing you may have seen if you watched the Secret Yarnery, if you haven't, shame on you, you should check it out, the Secret Yarnery with Krista. Um, she talks about this, woo, a lot, neck light. And they both, you can do both sides. Anyway, um, they're fabulous to, um, to work in with, I, I crochet a lot in bed. Or even in the living room, I don't have like a really good reading light or something like that in here. So as the sun goes down, I have a light coming at me, but I want a light coming down. And so I just, I, went, I go and I get this and I put it on and it's really light and I look at it. So, and I can see my work a lot better. So this is called L-E-D-G-L-E, Lead Glee, Lead Glee, Lead Glee. So um, it's, the, it's a neck light. Uh, there's a lot of them out there. This one is, is really inexpensive. It's less than 20. I'm thinking it's like 15. Um, really good and a really good gift for crocheters or knitters or needle pointers or whatever cross stitchers, whatever they do. That's really good. Also another thing, so that's one, two, three. Number four, this is got a little beat up, but um, notebooks are a crafter's best friend. So they may have a different way of putting things together, but sometimes they just need um, something. So this is my little notebook and I have three different sections in here. Some are my, I put my ideas for videos in one section, ideas for patterns in another section. And sometimes when I just watch a tutorial and I write down the steps um, so that I can do it in my own time, that's the other section. So, um, it's some kind of little or big notebook that maybe has something um, inspirational and colorful what would life be if we had no courage to attempt anything that's what mine says so it keeps me going out there so one two three four uh number five a yarn bowl nobody buys themselves a yarn bowl my mom bought this for me <clears throat> and it was at a um a, a, a craft store is that what it's called? Anyway, it was at, it was it was handmade with all the other artsy fartsy stuff, and um, I I love it. Sometimes I use it and I end up it's just sitting around, and so I put all kinds of little doodads in there before the cleaning lady comes. I got to clean before the cleaning lady comes. But anyway, but also it's really good when you end up with a little ball of yarn that's left, um, and you just. Put it through there and then it, it can unwind and unroll if you're doing a um, an outside pull it's really good if you're doing a center pull it just kind of keeps it in place and it's really nice for that um <clears throat> speaking of a little so this is number two three four five 
Number six, to make this little yarn ball, isn't it pretty? This is the end of um, a, a, a larger skein that I didn't use the whole thing of, but look, that's too much to throw away. And I didn't want to just throw, if you just throw the skein when, it's, when you're almost done, it has a tendency to get tangled up, yes. But while you're still using it, it's nice and loose, and you have all of the ends there. And what do you want to do? You want to wind it up. So this is like $25. Um, this brand is a Stanwood, Stanwood um, Needlecraft. Stanwood Needlecraft. And it's 25 to 30. I don't know, it was a gift. But um, a great thing to have just to keep up with all of the ends. So, six. Number six. Number six is a yarn winder. It's called a yarn winder. I'll have links for these down the bottom if you need them. And this one is Needlecraft, Stanwood Needlecraft. It's fine. And you get all this mess and you do it and you spend an hour, you're watching a movie and you just wind up all of your yarn and oh my gosh, you feel so good. And then you have all of these to just kind of place on your I don't know, in a box or up on your shelves or however you do things. Okay, next, next, a case. This is the best case that I've found that holds the most amount of stuff that is at a really good price. So this is like 12 bucks or something. Um, Demero is the name. And there are two sides to it. It comes empty, okay, but so I have this first side that has my, I have my clover hooks set here and I have my um, um, stitch markers in here and I have some scissors in there. Oh, I should have put the scissors on. I might put a link to that. But fun scissors, no crocheter or knitter or embroiderer can have enough pair of scissors because they go missing a lot. So scissors are all nice. But anyway, I'm talking about the case. So we have a couple of zipper things in here. I have a place to put all the regular size, the, the regular set. It goes from 2.25 up to 6.0 millimeter. Um, the other side is where I put the bigger ones. So right now I've been using the nine. And so I put the bigger ones here and some that won't fit here. Oh, and I have a steel one in there. And then I put my um, bent tip needles in there, and I just poke it through the poke it through the elastic, so it'll stay. And then there's another pouch here, where I put things like uh, one of these tape measure and little um, notes. Um, here's my tags. Crocheted with love. But, oh, hey, you could make get some tags for somebody, but that's kind of personal. How they may want it at a certain way. Anyway, um, so there's this. Seven. Number seven. It's the Demero. So I showed you the bent tip needles. So the other thing, people um, tend to lose, which is why I just got another set. Oh my gosh, it's falling out the bottom. And these are like five bucks. Mm. Um, these are some needles. They're not the bent tip. Let me show you those. You can get them straight. They're just embroidery needles or finishing needles, yarn needles. Clover has some that you can get the bent tip. Um, metal ones. Kind of see their bit. So there's one for large, larger yarn, and one for for regular, smaller yarn. There's those you can get those in a in a in a set. Um, but these, um, sometimes I have a hard time finding them. Sometimes I don't. So it's Susan Bates, and they it comes with all these different sizes. I use usually use this middle size. And if you see down here, it works for, the big one is for size six yarn. This little tiny yellow one is for, for lace yarn, for zero or one. 
Um, but I use this dark blue one a lot. And this is really good for short tails. Um, sometimes they're, the tail is shorter than your needle, and so it's kind of hard to, to weave in your tails. Uh, this is really good for that. I've also found that they're a little bit sharper, and so if you have some some yarn that maybe a little, I don't know, a little slick or something, and you want to get it in the um, fibers of the yarn when you're hiding your tails, this does a little bit better sometimes than um, the blunt tip, uh, bent the blunt bent tip ones do. But these are my favorite but these certainly serve a purpose. So, um, needles, embroidery, or is that what they're called? Embroidery needles, they're to finish, they're the large yarn needles. Any yarny person needs that as well. So, you can get them a little care package, but this package, and then um, put in there some scissors and a, and, a, and a tape measure and a bunch of needles. That would be good. So that's eight. Then you guys know what's coming next. You've got it all. The latch hook. Have to have a latch hook. Um, and and this is for you to know or for your um, your loved one to know that a latch hook is great for making bullion stitches. So if you get this for them, you'll bullion, like the bullion you put in to a, a soup or something, you know, bullion cubes. Um, but it's a bullion stitch. So you gotta write that down so that they know what it's for, bullion, bullion stitch. Um, the latch hook, put a link to that. And then of course my very favorite jasmine oil scented rapture no rinse delicate wash rapture and um even if they have some get some more this isn't cheap so it's a nice gift i mean you know um and this is by chris kristen omdahl it's also on <clears throat> it's on amazon and that's where i get it from and that's the link i'm gonna put on there uh but it has her name on here so i'm pretty sure she still gets a, a cut from it so um so i think it's okay to get it from amazon and then because somebody bought it from Kristen to be able to send it to sell it on amazon so that's number 10. so that's what we've got we got snaps got a whole snapping machine we got collar clips for shawls two Three, we've got a neck light. Four, we've got a notebook, inspirational notebook. <clears throat> Five, I don't know if this is the number I gave them or not. Um, a yarn bowl, so that they can be unwound as you're as you're using it. Six winder a winder for leftover yarn when your skein is done or if you get something in a hank but then you also need um a swift and those are a little bit more expensive those go above my 30 dollars range so i do have one but i saved up for it so but this is yarn this this ball winder is great for for hanks and if you get those for you know some hand dyed or some really high quality stuff then you'll need a swift and you'll need a yarn a ball winder in order to put that hank into a ball but the end of skeins you also if you have a decent amount then um you don't want it to just sit there really loosely in that long form because then it gets all tangled sorry going on and on and on so there's that oh i think i miscounted anyway and then there's the needles and then there's the demero case and then there's the latch hook and then there's the um a rapture so 10 things that uh that you could buy for your loved one who is into crochet or knitting or needle art just yarn art or thread art or something like that so i hope that helps and thank you for your time and we also have a choice so please choose happy thanks
拜。